Alzheimer's disease afflicts millions of Americans. There is no cure, but there is promising research taking place right here in Chicago that could one day stop the progression of this cruel disease. Roseanne Tejas takes a look in tonight's Health Watch. I got something wrong with me. Still Alice is a rare big screen look at a disease facing more than 5 million Americans. Julianne Moore portrays an early onset Alzheimer's patient. I can see the words hanging in front of me and I can't reach them. And I a real life dilemma for 65 year old Bill Kelly, also diagnosed with early onset. He noticed changes when he couldn't find things. You can say, oh yeah, I remember putting it there now. I just forgot. Well now the difference is I can't remember ever having put it there. He can't remember family visits. It's like I was never there. It's so gradual and so insidious that you don't realize it's happening when it's happening. It can be the same for family members. She was so sharp and you know, it just kind of came out of nowhere. 80 year old Rita Goins once headed human resources at an international company and loved to cook. But after her diagnosis five years ago, the knobs are off the stove. Her daughter says it's too okay. dangerous for her to cook anymore. To watch your loved one lose a little bit of her brain, it's traumatic. Goins is taking part in a clinical trial at Rush University Medical Center studying the drug Solanuzumab. Well, I'm taking that thing every time I go in there. Yes, it's a steady drug and we don't know if she's getting the placebo or the real drug. Referred to as a vaccine, it has shown promise in earlier studies and is now being given to patients in earlier stages of the disease. Any study that can show a delay in the onset of the disease or the progression of the disease is a valuable, valuable study. The drug helps to stop buildup in the brain of the protein amyloid, which is believed to cause cognitive changes. Can you describe the promise of this particular drug? Our hopes is to show clinical outcomes that are better, people thinking better, movement is better behavior is better. Kelly is confronting the disease honestly, motivated by the example he'll set for his children. They're going to face adversity, but how did the old man handle it? Well or poor? Did he show them the way? Roseanne Teus, CBS 2 News. Rush has three other Alzheimer studies underway looking at genetic risks for developing Alzheimer's. Another experimental drug study which may help improve memory in Alzheimer's patients and an end-of-life study looking at brain imaging techniques.